Okay, here's a quick video on how I edit the parameter file for the FMS Reflex Gyro to reconfigure it for a non-FMS airplane. So you download the FMS software and you extract it to an empty folder. Extract here. Now here's your folder. Go into it. Here's your executable. Now the parameter files are in the param folder, so open it. And the configuration for each model is in the param.dll. So I right click it and open it with Notepad++. And you see these are the uh, parameters where you reverse the gyro response so that uh, the gyro moves ailerons, elevator, and rudder in the correct direction. So they may need to be uh, set to zero, which is not reversed, or they may need to be set to one, which is reversed. Uh, this doesn't have any effect on what the sticks do. Um, so first thing you need to do is adjust or uh, edit the reversing in your transmitter so that the sticks move the gyro or move the surfaces the correct way. And then pick the plane up and tilt it 45 degrees each way. And when you lift a wing tip, the aileron on that tip should go up to push the wing tip back down. And if you raise the tail, the elevator should deflect upward to push the tail back down. And then the rudder, you have to check it by holding the plane out in front of you with the tail away from you. And they just rotate your body. And while you're rotating, the rudder should move in the same direction that you're rotating. It should lead you. Um, you can look and see the rudder deflecting as it, as you're rotating. When you stop, the rudder is going to go back to center. So anyway, do the stick direction in the transmitter first, and then check the gyro response. And if it's backwards, then come in here and change it from a zero to a one or a one to a zero. And after you do that, click the floppy disk up here to save it. Then go back to your folder and go back to the folder above where your executable is and run it and it will load the parameter file that has your new changes in it and so you double click it click ok and it writes it to the gyro now unlike spectrum there's no way you can read what's in the gyro back to the computer to verify you just have to do your um, Stick direction testing, pick the plane up, tilt it each way, make sure the gyro responds in the correct direction. Um, now, I leave the file open, and uh, it doesn't hurt to leave it open. So if you see that the gyro is backwards on the aileron, then you change it from a zero to a one, and you click save up here, click the floppy disk, and then go back to the FMS software and close it. And then go back to the folder where the executable is located and run it again. And you can't tell, but it has reloaded the files in the param folder. And now when you double click it and click OK, it writes your new settings to the gyro. So go back through all your tests, stick direction, gyro direction, all that stuff, and, and just repeat the process until you finally get it doing what it's supposed to do. But each time you edit the param file, you've got to close the software and run it again so that it reloads the data here. You need to make sure you're operating on the correct airplane. I was uh, editing the pits, which is the top model in the list. So if you're doing a different model, you need to go back to the software. Say if you're doing the 1220 millimeter Super Easy V4, scroll over here and look and see what the actual name is in the file. And so we're going to search for Mogui. So we go back to the file 
and do a control F and type in MO GUI, hit enter. Now we're on the correct airplane. So we go down here and if we need to reverse the aileron, we'll put a one. If we need to reverse the elevator, we'll put a one. And if the rudder doesn't need to be reversed, we'll put a zero. And then we go up here and we click the floppy disk and then go back to the FMS software and close it. And then go back to our folder and rerun the FMS software so that it loads the changed configuration. And so now you double click it and click OK. And it has written the new settings to the gyro. So make sure you're loading and editing the same airplane. Otherwise, you're not going to be making any changes at all that you're going to see anyway. So that's it. Uh, close this software, make your change, click the floppy disk, go back, load the software. It has reloaded the parameter file, config files, double click the airplane, click OK, and now it has written it to the gyro. So there you go. That's all I know to tell you.